She teaches math in such a fun way that it's easy to remember the formulas. She makes it feel like it's not hard and it's not like there's something wrong with how you learn. The work doesn't feel like work. It feels like we're just talking and then I'm writing things down. I started Reason to Learn in 2008 when I saw that there was a real need for differentiated math instruction. I wanted to be able to pull resources from a lot of different places, not just textbooks and not just the way that we traditionally learned math. When a parent calls me and they want to know about academic therapy and tutoring, the first thing we do is talk on the phone for a while so they can get a sense of me and I can get a sense of what their concerns are, where their child is having a breakdown in comprehension and where I can best fit in to help them. I bring a holistic approach to families who are struggling with students who are falling behind and I bring them through my process so that they get an approach to learning like they've never seen before. She finds things that I'm good at that I don't really know and she really just pulls those things out and I just go from there. The key factor is matching the kids' energy. And that might mean that I need to be really excited when I come in and we do a lot of crazy fun stuff. Or I need to be mellow and I need to come in and we have a calm session. And it's really about the child. It's really about where they are meeting me. I know that we are starting to see results when whatever we're doing is something that the child can take and independently do themselves. As an educational therapist, I work with a ton of brilliant children who just haven't found the way that their brain works yet. And I was one of those kids that did not get it the way the teacher was telling me. And that experience, I think, really helped me to understand how kids are feeling emotionally about math. And it's one of the reasons that I love teaching them now.